Hi, it's Eric and Janie from Chasing the Sun. If you're visiting Hanoi and looking for their top attractions, then this video will show you exactly that. Yes, Hanoi actually has many attractions for visitors. So let's not waste time and get right into it. Hanoi is a great city for historical sites and museums. In fact, I find that there are many more cultural activities here in Hanoi than Ho Chi Minh in the south. Here are some that we've been to and would definitely recommend you put it on your list if you're visiting this great city. The Old Quarter is the historical heart and soul of Hanoi and dates back a thousand years. Back in the 11th century, the China Emperor Li decided to move the capital from Hua Lu in Ninbin to Hanoi, and that's why the Imperial Citadel of Tanlong is at the end of the Old Quarter. The Old Quarter doesn't have a clear delineation and many streets just outside of the Old Quarter is also interesting to see, but if you were to look for it, then it would be northwest of the Huang Kim Lake. This area is great to walk around on foot. The streets are charming and bursting with people and activity. This is the streets of Hanoi and they took densification to a whole different level. Look at that. Those buildings split into how skinny they are. That's probably like eight feet max and that's it. But uh, they get away with it. If you want to shop, then there are certain streets dedicated to certain items. So if you know what you want, then it's convenient because it's all clustered together. For instance, Hang Bak Street is where you'll find jewelry and precious stones like jade. Hang Gai Street is where you can find clothes and garments from scarves to suits. There are also many custom tailors that will measure you up and have a suit for you already in a day. If you're looking for a traditional market, then Zhe Dong Xuan is the place to go. It's basically Hanoi's version of the Zhe Bintang in Ho Chi Minh City. You can find it at the north end of the Old Quarter. There are some great sites that are located within the Old Quarter like the Bakma Temple, the Huang Kim Lake, and the Instagram Worthy Train Street, which we'll dive into for you right now. The Train Street is a fun tourist attraction for you to go and check out. It's right inside the Old Quarter, close to the intersection of Tran Phu and Li Nam De Street. For some reason, this area was developed with shops really close to train tracks where if a train passes by, you're just barely touching it. And the novelty here is people would sit by the patios, facing the train and wait for it to come by. So if you want to do that, then keep in mind these train crossing times so you can go and check it out. Now the thing to note here though is that Vietnam is not quite great on time with their train network, so it's not a fixed time. Give or take 15 minute delay, and that's very normal to be expected. So you better arrive at least 30 minutes before if you want to get that good viewing spot. So this is the famous Hanoi train street. It's apparently a working railway that is squished in between two buildings and a real train actually does come by which is probably a sight to see. The tip here is if you do come by, come by around 12 to 3. That's when it's quietest and you can take some photos here. All right, It's definitely Instagram worthy. Uh, so come by then, otherwise right now, like now it's super busy. Another quirky attraction to visit is the Feng Hung Miro Street. It's located in the Huang Kim District just outside of the Old Quarter. This is a mural street in Hanoi. It's this kind of archway that they uh, created and painted a bunch of murals on there. The cool thing about this is that they actually painted these murals on the base of this 120 year old Long Bien Bridge. 
Each archway has a unique mirror which talks about the history of Hanoi's past. Another attraction that is within the old quarter is the Huang Tian Lake, which is a great place to take a stroll within the bustling city of Hanoi. The city has made efforts to make this very pedestrian friendly with wide boulevards circling the entire lake. This is very different than other parts of the city where all you'll find are tight and busy streets. This lake is especially nice to come out in the evening and we cover more details about that in our Nightlife of Hanoi video which you can find with a card at the top right corner of the screen. On the north end of the lake you'll find Nok Sung Temple which is right in the middle of the lake connected by Huk Bridge which is equally picturesque in the day as it is in the night. When you get to the island, you'll find the Tra Ban Din, which is a pavilion overlooking the lake, and then of course, the Nok Sung Temple. This was built in the 18th century, and the name translates to Jade Mountain, which is the small island that this temple rests on. When you get here, you'll find this whole area is very peaceful and quiet, and offers solitude away from the bustling city of Hanoi. The Tran Kuok Pagoda is a Buddhist center which dates back more than 1500 years. It's located on the east side of the West Lake in Hanoi. Yes, I know that sounds confusing, so don't go to the west side of the West Lake. Now fortunately, there is no East Lake in Hanoi, otherwise that would be even more confusing. This was a famous sightseeing place of many past kings in Vietnam, thanks to a stunning scenery and sacred sanctuary. This was of course way before the bustling busyness of modern Hanoi. But now it's still worth a visit and a photo. And it's especially cool if you're into architecture because it follows strict rules of Buddhist architecture. One thing to note is that pagodas are sacred places, so please observe the local rules like proper clothing is to be expected, which means no shorts and sleeveless shirts are allowed. The Hua Lo prison is in the French Quarter very close to Huang Kim Lake. This prison was originally built by the French colonists in 1896 to house and torture revolutionary Vietnam rebels. It became one of the largest and most brutal prisons in Indochina. During the 1990s, most of the prison was demolished but a part of it has been kept and transformed into the museum it is today. It definitely is a somber attraction and many emotions will be awakened as you explore the many different exhibits. No wonder it's one of the top attractions in Hanoi today. Definitely go check it out if you enjoy learning about war history. Then finally, we have the Temple of Literature, which was built in 1070 to honor Confucius. In fact, it was Vietnam's first national university where the national exam was held. If you pass that exam, then you get to do the royal exam, which was administered by the emperor himself back in the day. Today, although it's a popular tourist attraction, it is still used to honor Vietnam's finest scholars with certain ceremonies. It has several buildings with five different courtyards and gardens, which you can easily spend a few hours exploring. What is so cool for me is that this building is almost a thousand years old, and after multiple wars and all this time, it still maintains its original architectural style and character. As you browse the exhibits and writings, you'll notice that all the literature is actually in Chinese text. So a fun fact for those that don't know, Vietnam was previously one of the states within the China Empire. And it was not until the French colonized them that their writing language switched to what it is now. Here's another fun fact about bonsais if you have interest in that. So this is bonsai which is uh, a uh, popular art I guess, also craft in the Asian uh, Vietnamese Chinese culture. It takes a long time to uh, make this. Um, the whole art to it is you actually design the branches according to how you want it and how you do it is you use these metal uh, to kind of bend the branches the way you want it to the landscape that you want it and then they also 
the else the other part is this whole rockscape and what you put under it becomes a whole landscape and that becomes part of the art of bonsai. We've only covered seven of the many sites in Hanoi. And if you have more time and looking for more sites, then you can also check out the Imperial Citadel, which is a heritage preservation in the middle of the city. The Hanoi Opera House, which hosts classical music, dance, and opera performances. And the One Pillar Pagoda, which is a Buddhist temple that is architecturally interesting. There are many sites and tourist attractions in Hanoi, so if you're into all that, then make sure you leave yourself some more time to visit. We hope you liked this video and it will help you to make the most of your trip to Hanoi. If you're traveling to Ho Chi Minh also, then you should check out this video where we show you the best attractions of Ho Chi Minh City. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel as we will bring you more videos in Vietnam travel series.